Hello and welcome to Daily Prayer on Monday the 21st of December. My name is the Reverend Paul Lavender. Thank you for joining me today. I trust that you're well. As we come into these final few days before Christmas, we continue to ask the Lord to help deepen our sense of joy and peace and love as we prepare to celebrate the coming of our Saviour into the world. So let's bow our head, shall we, as we begin our time of prayer together. Psalm 90. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn us back to dust and say, turn back, O mortals, for a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it is past, or like a watch in the night. You sweep them away, they are like a dream, like grass that is renewed in the morning. In the morning it flourishes and is renewed, in the evening it fades and withers. For we are consumed by your anger, by your wrath we are overwhelmed. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins in the light of your countenance. For all our days pass away under your wrath, our years come to an end like a sigh. The days of our life are seventy years, or perhaps eighty if we are strong. Even then their span is only toil and trouble, they are soon gone and we fly away. Who considers the power of your anger? Your wrath is as great as the fear that is due to you. So teach us to count our days, that we may gain a wise heart. Turn, O Lord, how long? Have compassion on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad for as many days as you have afflicted us, and for as many years as we have seen evil. Let your work be manifest to your servants and your glorious power to their children. Let the favour of the Lord our God be upon us and prosper us for the work of our hands. O oh, prosper the work of our hands. We thank God for his word to us. Now let's pray together, let us pray. Blessed are you, sovereign God of all, to you be praise and glory forever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's keep a moment quiet now as we begin this day and as we seek to grow in our faith by asking the Lord to show us any sins or weaknesses that keep us from him. May Almighty God have mercy upon us. Pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Give us time to amend our lives and bring us the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. We read today in our Bible reading from Luke chapter 1, verses 39 to 45. In those days, Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leapt for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfilment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. And Mary said, 
My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, for he has looked with favour on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy according to the promise he made to our ancestors to Abraham and to his descendants forever. And Mary remained with her for about three months and then returned home. Thanks be to God for his word. This wonderful reading from the Gospels, which includes the Magnificat, the hymn of praise that Mary uttered. It's almost like a praise fest or competition. Elizabeth exclaims with a loud cry and worships, blessed are you amongst women, blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Obviously she's filled with the Spirit and exclaims in that way. And Mary, in a similar way, she responds to the blessing of her cousin Elizabeth and blesses the Lord for what he's done. You know, when God is in our lives, when God's in our midst, there's nothing else that we can do but praise. And during these days of the coronavirus pandemic, and when we're not able as freely to meet together in church, we're not able to worship in person or to sing out our praises, it's so difficult, isn't it? Because you may feel that you're praising, but somehow there's a mute on your lips, but there may never be a mute in your heart. So let the Holy Spirit come upon you as you give thanks for what God has done for you, even as Mary, the mother of Jesus, and Elizabeth, the mother of John the Baptist, even as they praise together, they were able to utter thanksgiving to the Lord. May we, who have, in similar but different ways, reasons to thank God every day, be filled with an expression of praise and give God the glory. Let's confess our faith together and use the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. Now let's pray together as we bring our intercessions to the Lord today. Let's pray. Firstly, today we pray that we may know in our hearts the coming of the Lord with justice and mercy, both to us and to our world. And that God would establish among the nations his rule of righteousness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we pray today for the brokenhearted, for those we know who are sick, and for those who are fallen or laid low for whatever reason. Bring your healing and your grace, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And then we pray for the church and for Christians in China. We particularly pray for witness and for worship that takes place among the Uyghur minority. And we pray that even as that people group no persecution, there may be a change of heart from the Chinese government. And that even as 
uh, those uh, believers turn from their natural backgrounds and turn to Christ, they may contribute to society and no longer be seen as a threat. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we pray for the work of BMS World Mission and for its work amongst the marginalised, we pray that in Chad, Uganda and Afghanistan, its healthcare ministries may bring help not only in those areas we know about of speech therapy and primary health care, but whenever there's an observation of need, may there be compassionate response and the growth in the ability of BMS to meet those needs. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Then for ourselves and for those we know and love, we pause to pray in a moment of silence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We share together in saying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins. As we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. O God, our Redeemer, you prepared the blessed Virgin Mary to be the mother of your Son. Grant that as she looked to his coming as our Saviour, so we may be ready to greet him when he comes again as our Judge, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. May God bless you today, keep you safe. Please continue to support and pray for one another. And if you're able to, please pray for me. Until we meet again, goodbye and God bless.